Yo, what is going on today, guys? It is Sam, better known as Samito. Welcome back to the channel today for a crazy loadout and a sniper that Raven kind of broke on this previous Warzone patch, making it arguably the best like bullet velocity sniper and damage fall off sniper I've used in a while. So if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I'm going to give you guys a full loadout that I've been using that's really helped me out on uh, the Rebirth Island quads as well as Fortune's Keep. So yeah, let's get right to the action here. So the sniper that I've been using that is super broken right now is the three-line rifle, and it is a Vanguard sniper. No surprise there. It seems like the Vanguard guns are consistently getting out of tune and incredibly powerful out of seemingly nowhere, right? So what makes the three-line rifle so good? Well, the first barrel on it makes it so that it has zero damage falloff. That's right, no damage falloff, and its bullet velocity is so high, it's really easy to hit people that are frankly across the map, right? So to start... I'm going to give you guys my loadout that I have on this, so I'm going to stop here and, and, and pull up my screen real quick just to show you guys what you need to be running on it, right? So, the build I have is the three line. You need the Mercury Silencer for additional bullet velocity and sound suppression, obviously. The first barrel, you only want the very first barrel because it makes it so that, as you can see on the bottom here, no damage fall off. It also increases your ADS speed, your sprint to fire speed, and your bullet velocity just for flinch resistance and aim stability, making it very good. So you have no damage fall off, basically a hit scan bullet, incredibly broken. Uh, I like to use the 4 to 8x on it. I think it just looks the best, but you can obviously put any scope on it that you desire. Um, I'm, right now, I'm running the second stock, the Zac Custom MZ. I just think it feels good. It gives me ADS speed and aim walk move speed. Um, the SMLE pistol grip for sprint to fire ADS and aim walk speed uh, makes it much better. Um, I'm running the 20 round mag that gives it all of these amazing things, including bullet velocity and more range, even though it doesn't need range technically because it doesn't have any uh, fall off damage. So sometimes I run the five round fast mag, but I like the 20 round mag just because I don't have to reload and I just think it's funny to use that. It's very troll. Um, Right now, I'm using hollow point, which I actually shouldn't be using. I should be using lengthened. I don't know why I put a hollow point on that. Probably just to test it, but you want to put lengthened on instead for even more bullet velocity. Um, the leather grip for ADS speed, aim stability, and aim walk move speed yet again. Um, hard scope, the perk, but what's even more broken at times is shrouded, which hides your scope glint and reduces the angle where enemies will see glint from sniper uh, scopes and increase the amount of time it has before it actually pops up, which is pretty broken, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, and then perk two is just on hand for faster ADS speed. This gun is incredibly broken, right? And we're going back to uh, to the other screen here to show you some more gameplay with it. It's incredibly good. They buffed the bullet velocity on the previous patch, and with other snipers being nerfed like the Car 98, it plays just like the Car 98, so that if you enjoy that fast-paced sniping play style, you're going to be able to run this gun really, really well. It's going to pop off for you. It does a lot of damage, and it's just very... It, it's bullet velocity is what makes it so, so good. You can really, really snipe with it. So I think this is by far the best sniper in the game right now it's not even close i don't even think raven realizes that they actually broke this sniper um but in terms of secondary that you, what you want to run on uh on as a secondary excuse me i can't even talk it's been a very long weekend of grinding warzone for me i've been running the high stress blueprint for the blixen smg it has really really good range and it's crazy how uh this blueprint actually has every single attachment that you need perfectly for the build Right, so you want the recoil booster um, on the front end of it, the bottom barrel, or yeah, the bottom barrel, the Bergstrom 17H F3. I like the slate reflector. Um, the Bergstrom MB stock is very good. It gives you ADS speed and move speed on top of that just for a little bit of recoil control because this barrel doesn't recoil at all anyway. Um, the skeletal grip for ADS speed and move speed at the cost of hip fire accuracy. You also could put the hand stop on it or the pistol grip if you're feeling really, really confident. Um, the 54 round mags, uh, hollow point and or lengthened, either one work or subsonic, I guess. Either way, you know, it's totally fine. Um, the polymer grip, but I've actually swapped over to the hack script for now. Uh, these are a lot, tend to be a lot more forgiving. I just like the hack script now just because I, I like it. And then fleet and quick as your perks. You can swap out fleet for perfectionist or steady. 
Um, honestly, this one can go either way because your move speed is already very, very good. These perks are all good for this gun. So yeah, that's the secondary four. It's a good looking gun. This is a great loadout to run uh, on both Fortune's Keep and Rebirth Island. I think this goes very, very well together. And yeah, this is the broken build right now. Uh, Raven, I don't think they've realized just how good they've made the three-line rifle. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Do you like the build? Do you not like the build? Um, I need to find the actual patch notes quickly to see what they did. Give me one second. Yeah, here we are in the recent patch notes. Uh, the three-line rifle got a 4% muzzle velocity increase for some reason because it definitely needed that. And that was the most recent buff they actually gave it. Um... So, yeah, they just, you know, they gave this gun even more bullet velocity when it already had a barrel on it that gave it no damage fall off, which just makes it incredibly broken. You can snipe from very far away with it. It's just so good all around the board. And I'm trying to find the previous patch, too, that I believe they buffed it again before that. The bottom line is this thing is just an absolute freaking laser, man. Like it is by it is the best sniper rifle that I have used since I think the SPR as yeah, here we go. Listen to this three line rifle buff. Ready? Um, ADS uh, transition in time decreased to 506 milliseconds. Um, ADS speed increased. Um, and then it basically just depending on the barrel, they change the ADS. So they've been progressively buffing the sniper for multiple patches, um, leading up to this. So right, like this, this is just easily one of the best snipers in the game now. I think it is the best sniper in the game, to be honest. Like I kind of already said. So yeah, that's gonna do it. I hope. Let me know if it works out for you guys. Um, down in the comments. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I appreciate having you guys around, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace out. They yeah, they're way up there. No, they're up. He's shredded me. Right here. Engaging shooter. Oh, I got him! Oh! Oh my god, the crossbow! Yeah, I got this. Got him, he's dead, he's dead again. There's, a, there's another one that just jumped from the top. Oh, yeah. fuck. I need somebody to come. Tense. Uh, control, control, control. Oh my god! Oh my god! We've spied an enemy right here. Oh my. Fucking <laughs> 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 <laughs>